how to make an esports website. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own esports website. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to be using Wix for this website. So you can use any kind of website development platform that you like. You can go with Google Sites, you can go with Squarespace, you can go with MailChimp, GoDaddy, any platform that you like. I'm using Wix and the reasons that I'm using Wix are pretty simple. Wix is easy to use, it is free, it provides me free web hosting and free domain names and Wix is uh, very intuitive with their drag and drop features that is why I feel like designing your website on Wix is going to be a lot more easier as if you were in comparison doing it on WordPress or some other website development service so to get started I have already logged on to my Wix account you can sign up via your email address or your Google account and this is going to be your dashboard so from here you're just going to click on create new site over here and once you click on create new site they're going to ask you which platform you want to use because I have the Wix Editor X installed but we're just going to continue with Wix because I want the simple and easy website editor and then you can answer a few questions on what kind of website you want to develop so I'm going to add sports and let's say this is just going to be a sports club and we're going to click on next and depending on whatever kind of esports you have, you can add the features that suit your website. So let's say I want live stream and on demand. I want chat features. I want forms. I want um, subscribers with payment forms. I want basic discussion forms. And maybe I also want... Um, events and bookings so bookings could be for esport event or a certain esport tournament or contest and then you're just going to click on next over here after selecting the features that you like now you have two options you can use the wix adi which is the wix artificial intelligence to create your website for you or you can use the wix website editor and select a template or get started from scratch now i prefer using a template editing that but if you want you can just answer a few questions and have your website ready to go but we're just going to click on edit a template and then you have the different templates available now i'm going to search for actually tech because it's an esports website i want the theme that i have to look very like super high tech um so i'm going to add maybe high tech so you can see these are the different templates or let's say if i just enter esports and now if i take a look you can see there are quite a few different templates i can choose from but i am going to actually take a look at the next page and if i just keep on looking i think i'm going to go with this template and although this is like a fan club kind of template i'm going to click on edit and i'm going to show you guys how you can customize your template so we're just going to wait for this to load and you can also click on blank templates over here and you can get started from scratch absolutely and you can also take these minimal layouts and select one of these to get started with your website now i'm just going to wait for my template to load over here and this might usually take a couple of seconds so that is nothing to be worried about it's just loading up the wix website editor which is a very very heavy website editor so it might take a few seconds to load up your templates now you can see over here my template has been loaded and on the left i have the different features or my basic toolbar you could say now on the top left i have the pages that i have and i'm just going to click on manage pages and i'm going to start removing the pages that i do not need so i'm just going to delete these extra pages because i'm going to show you guys how to add your own and once i delete all of these i'm going to leave the contact page and i'm going to delete the blog page now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this text and i'm going to rename the text so i'm just going to double click and add uh let's say this could be esports central that's like the website name that i'm going to go for and i'm going to add championships or maybe choose your champions like so. so i'm adding this basic kind of motto and i'm just going to select these buttons over here and i'm going to remove them and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this entire text and i'm going to paste it over here and i'm going to resize this text because i like the text but i want it to be in a smaller font size like so 
and I'm going to drag and drop this to the top. So I'm going to just attach this to the header. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my second page. So the second page that I'm going to create, you're just going to click on over here, add, and then you can click on the pages. You can manage, or you can just click on menus and pages right over here. You can click on add page. You can add blank page. I'm going to just add a blank page. And I'm going to name this page um, to be, if it's the eSports, so I can add Call of Duty Championship. So I'm just going to save this over here. And once I have this page added, now what I'm going to do is maybe I want bookings for the Call of Duty Championship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and you can go into the bookings. And then you're going to add the Wix booking. So you're just going to click on add to site. So this will integrate the Wix bookings onto your website. And you can do this for any kind of esporting event, whatever it might be. It could be PUBG, it could be Call of Duty, it could be CSGO, it could be any kind of game that you are uh, hosting for. You can add those, you can add all of these in one platform as well. So uh, you can create separate pages for each individual series, but you can also create like a singular one for all of the bookings. But I'm just going to scroll and create this and I'm going to resize this to be a bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on manage services. And from here, I'm going to edit this booking and I'm going to add like the championship dates and calendar dates. You can add all of these from here. So this is basically your website manager or your website dashboard that you can later on access as well. So this is going to be multiple participants and this is going to be a class. And we are just going to add the booking services and I'm going to name my service. So this is going to be gun trials. And I'm just going to save and you can add the price as well. So I'm going to add no fee or if you have an entry fee for your tournaments, you can add like 11 and I'm just going to add save like so. And now you can see I have added a simple little booking. So you can see it has been updated and you can add your own images as well. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to click on over here. And if you go back onto your home page, you can see this is what it is looking like. You have your Call of Duty Championship. Uh, so you can also create a button over here to uh, add to directly redirect people onto this. Or you can create another page called uh, All Esports Event. So I can click on over here, click on my menus and pages, click on Add Page blank page and this could be upcoming events so from here you can add all of your upcoming events whatever they might be and so on and so forth so once you have designed your website it's a very simple setup you're just going to click on publish over here and wix is automatically going to give you a simple little domain so you can just use that or if you want to add your own custom domain you will have to opt for a premium version of wix but i'm just going to continue with my free to use domain name and i'm going to click on view site over here and now you can see i have a fully functioning esports website it looks pretty nice it's very nice and i can click on any of these pages i can have upcoming events obviously i left them empty but you're gonna add your own information according to the esports website that you are designing so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video